Hi friends, David here from Learn Stage Lighting, and today I am pumped. I'm excited. I'm excited every day, but I'm excited today because we get to talk about tools. Now, I don't know about you, whether you're a hobbyist just starting out with lighting, someone who kind of feels like, you know, you work with lighting sometimes or whatnot, or maybe you're a professional, whether a stagehand, a lighting tech, an LD, tools are one of those rabbit holes where it definitely makes sense to invest some money in some tools to make your life way easier. But I think if you go out there and you ask professionals, sometimes they'll tell you, hey, this is like the bare minimum of what you need, and it's like 500 bucks worth of stuff, or thousands, right? And, you know, the toolbox of a gigging professional lighting tech or a designer who, you know, doesn't work for a company, or even one that does work for a company, can be thousands and thousands of dollars. But what I want to do today is really talk about like some of my best bang for the buck tools. In fact, I've got some of them here on the table and some of these I have had since I was 17 when I first started doing professional lighting uh, for a small company. And you know, when you buy good stuff, it will last you a long time and serve you for a really long time. So let's talk about the basics. Okay, so if you're gonna be any doing any sort of stage work, you know, unclamping, clamping fixtures, setting up uh, and whatnot, there are three basic tools that I would say everybody should have if you're gonna take this seriously and, and you wanna make your life easy, okay? The first one is the C-wrench, right? That's, that's key for lighting, right? Because you have, you know, clamps, right, like this. There are all sorts of different size bolts. I'll try to put them in the camera. And, you know, a C-wrench can adjust to size. Now, in terms of cost, I would say go get a good wrench. Like, this one's a Craftsman one back when they did make them in the U.S. I don't maybe they still make them in the U.S. Um, it's a really good wrench. You know, at, when I was 17, I spent, like, 15 bucks on this thing. And, you know, to this day, the, the things that make it a really good wrench are the fact that the adjustment is still super smooth, easy, it never jams. I can always resize it to the bolt I need and it never breaks or anything like that. It's just, you know, this, this tool is gonna outlast me and I'm probably gonna give it to my kids, right? Whereas, you know, a cheap C wrench, like you can spend, you know, $10 today instead of 20, right? And get a cheap C wrench, but it's not gonna last you. A lot of times they jam up. It can be good if you're starting and you have like no money, go for it. But I would say, you know, that's the best deal. I really like my eight inch C wrench. Um, a lot of people use six inch C wrenches. They get lost in my pocket sometimes. A six is a great, an eight's a great um, wrench. The next tool that you really wanna start out with in stage lighting is you gotta have a flashlight. And I've actually got one on me. I carry this one with me everywhere. Um, this one that we've got here is a little brand we found on Amazon quite a while ago called Through Night. And these ones are so cool just because they're pocket sized. They have one that's double size of this, double length and this one. And if you can see there, there's actually a USB-C that comes out of it that's rechargeable. These are very also inexpensive. Like you can go and spend 10 times the cost of this on a flashlight. Um, but this is the Through Night Archer Mini. We really like these just for, you know, seeing in the dark. There's a couple of things I really like about this one and, and other folks I've worked with have been impressed. One is, you know, I, I look and my preference in a flashlight is a dual mode, just high and low, no strobe, no funny stuff, right? That's hard to find. It really is. This one is a tri mode. So it starts with low. First of all, for stage work, most flashlights start on high and you got to tap it twice to get to low. But if you're in a dark space, you want it to start on low, right? Um, then, Two taps gets me to high. You see, that's pretty bright. It, it really does a pretty good job. You can see it illuminate things there. And then the third gets you to strobe. You can also hold the button down for about five seconds and you get yourself into an instantaneous mode where you have to hold the button on and then you let go and it turns off. That's also cool for stage work. It has a good bi-directional clip so you can stick it in your pocket, but you can also clip it like on a hat and use it as a light. And I just, We've seen these for a couple of years. We, you know, have bought a bunch of these. We use them all the time. They're for the price. They're just an awesome tool. And I love that it's rechargeable via USB-C. Yes, that means if it dies, you have to plug it in and you don't have it. So buy two. But I love that it's USB-C. You can find a charger anywhere. Just plug it in. 
you're good to go. Third most basic tool that's really key is a multi-tool, preferably in some kind of a pouch. Again, this, I bought this when I was 17, this pouch and this multi-tool. And it has served me well. This one's the Leatherman Wave. There are other models, um, but the Wave's always been a really good one for stagecraft. It has, you know, a knife. That's gonna be key for opening things up. But also, you know, if you screw up your nails, like honestly, when it's cold, you break a nail. Like, I know that sounds like really girly or something, but having a file that you can file down metal shavings or your nails with actually can be really helpful. Uh, like if a nail starts bleeding or something, it's kind of like hanging off there. You can, you know, of course, pliers, right? Screwdrivers, including tiny ones. Um, that's the primary stuff I use in these. Um, but super helpful just so that you don't have to go walk somewhere, find a tool across the venue. You have it on your side, ready to go anytime you need it. Next, let's step it up a notch. So specialty wrenches are something that have been in stage lighting for some time. And I've got two options here that I want to show you. And there's some things that I like about specialty wrenches like these two, some things that I don't like. Okay, so what I don't like about specialty wrenches is there's been a number on the market over the years, a few came out this year actually, and they can end up being really expensive, like three, four hundred dollars um, or more. And I get that, like if you're a professional, like every day you're working, you're earning a technician's day rate, you know, go buy the four hundred dollar tool if you want. But for a lot of us here, we might be church techs, you know, hobbyists, part-timers, stagehands. And you just can't justify that, right? So here I've got two really good options. The first is what I call my volunteer friendly, every church, venue, whatever should buy these if you use the most common clamps. And this one is the Light Source um, Mega Combo Wrench, okay? They're very inexpensive, which is what I like about them. Uh, they're very small, so you can, if you have a bunch of volunteers or a small theater or something, you can buy a bunch of these. And, you know, especially if you use light source clamps, but even if you use other brands like ETC clamps, it's gonna fit down here, loosen and tighten the yoke bolt. It fits the standard C clamp bolts on these light source clamps as well as ETC clamps. On the ETC clamps, the little tiny, uh, pan side to side nut that's on the side here that fits right there um, and these are just really really cheap <laughs> like they're they're just not expensive they can fit in your pocket easily you can put a little key ring or a piece of tie line a piece of string on it to hold it to your tether and they're just a really great option because you can tighten a wide variety of c clamps and yoke bolts and things like that with a very simple very easy to carry wrench my one complaint is they are very small so I find like you have to dig in your pocket a little to get it out sometimes. Um, if you do wear cargo shorts like I'm wearing today though, it's a lot easier and they're just quick, easy. If you run a small production company, buy 10 of these, stick them in your work boxes. People can use them all day long. Lastly, I want to look at a new wrench that I recently found and bought and we are also stocking here at Learn Stage Lighting Gear and it is called the Black Shadow Lighting Wrench. Okay, so found this. Guy started advertising them on Facebook that he was making these things, and these are really stinking cool, okay? Because it essentially is like everything that I personally want in a specialty lighting wrench, okay? So size comparison, a little smaller than my C wrench, about twice the size of the Mega Combo wrench, and the cool thing about this small handheld wrench is there's, there's kind of no stabby bits. You know, these over time will stab through your jean pockets. <laughs> I know from experience. No stabby bits, um, really compact, but they kind of do like everything. Like seriously, like I'm thinking in the future on gigs, I don't need to carry this, I can leave it in my work box. Let's take a look. Okay, so, um, you know, first we've got just a standard C-clamp, so it fits in the end here, okay? And you can see that, it'll do that, it'll do this. Um, the tiny pan bolts, yes, is going to be on the other side. So you can see that through there. We get to this tiny side pan bolt on clamps that have those. Okay. Um, going with a, uh, a wing nut, we can do wing nuts. Okay. So we put it in there and we can tighten and loosen that wing nut. Um, we also can do, and this is so stinking cool. Um, if we do have light source clamps, which I love light source clamps, we're a dealer, I think, if you use your fixtures a lot, it's worth a couple extra bucks. Um, then you're gonna see, actually I think we gotta go over to camera two, um, that 
you know, I can put this, for example, on the bowls. I think you guys can see that there and and turn the bowl and give it that extra bit of tightness on the wing nut but the fatter wing nuts that are on light source clamps same with omega clamps actually so omega clamps historically one of the problems with them is if you take your c wrench and you make it real tight like this okay um and you and you adjust these if you're not right on it fully with your c wrench uh, what's going to happen is you end up bending these over time and then they become harder to use and harder to do by hand if they do work by hand and they become really problematic. Um, this solves that because you just pop it in, you're applying a really smooth even pressure on there, you're able to tighten it in that grasp. Um, same with the light source uh, big old handles on the Mega Claws. I don't have any here in the studio, I don't think. Nope. Um, but with a Mega Claw, you can put the Mega Claw across this point right here, boom, you're good to go. There's also a little tiny level in there and two magnets that are just strong enough, but not too strong so that you can actually stick it onto hors nope, that's aluminum, um, horizontal surfaces that, um, that you're trying to level, like a, a lift of a leg, foot, you could put it on that horizontal surface, look at the level, you know, see if things are level or not. Um, and the thing about these Black Shadow mini lighting wrenches is they hit that under $100 price point, well under, that's really good. Um, and so it's like, it does pretty much everything I could ask. Yes, there's some that are more expensive that ratchet that are like twice or three times the price. Um, but this does like 90% of what those do. But for, at the time of this recording, well under, a good bit under 100 bucks, not well under, but a good bit under. Uh, and so we've got them at Learn Stage Lady Gear. We've ordered a bunch of them. And so help us make this not a bad investment and check those out as well. With that said, guys, um, thanks so much for watching. I hope you learned something today about just some tools that are really going to help you. Even if you're like, you know what, I'm a hobbyist, but I want to take this seriously. Getting some of these tools that are linked below, of course, at Learn Stage Lighting Gear and above AVL. Um, Getting some of these tools in your hands is really going to help you. It's going to make your job less frustrating. It's going to make it easier and you're going to get better results out of your lighting. Instead of fumbling around with a C-wrench, which is fine, changing the size all the time, having something specialty, having a knife, having a trusty flashlight that fits in your pocket well are just going to help you so much in your lighting, break down frustration, make it easier, make it more fun. So. If you guys enjoyed this, be sure to subscribe. And if you need any gear, audio, video, or lighting, then here at Above AVL slash Learn Stage Lighting Gear, yes, we're transitioning over. Um, we would love to help you. We would love to earn all of your gear purchasing, whether it's small or big, and help you get the stuff you need and personalize that price by quoting it out to you. So check out our site below, browse through the things, feel free to use the contact page, or just add stuff to your cart and request a quote. We love to help, we love to answer any and every question you have and give you our honest opinion. We honestly don't pay our people on commissions and we just try to keep things as fair as possible, play the long game so that we're earning your business for decades to come. So we're not in it for like a quick buck. We, we really wanna help you long-term build an awesome relationship. If that sounds great to you, head over to our site and we'll see you there. Thanks.